Welcome to another edition of Visual X Masterclass with Mr. Kanyele here, looking at the Euclidean geometry, especially the Euclidean geometry for grade 12. There are three main theorems that are important in this section. The first one, schools don't usually teach it, but it is important that you should understand this first theorem and the last two which are required to, to be proven during the examinations. The first one is uh, I call them equal altitude theorem. The first one, equal altitude theorem. The next one, the second one is called the proportionality theorem. This last one is called the similarity theorem. These two theorems, the proportionality theorem and the similarity theorem, their proof is required in the examination. Whilst this one, equal altitudes, you apply it. You don't necessarily have to prove it in the examination. So definitely at the end of the year, you'll find one of these two theorems for you to prove. So you've got certain marks to work on already. This one says, triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. Now, for this theorem to work, both triangles must have the same altitude. What is an altitude? It is the perpendicular height. Let's look at this triangle. I've got two triangles here, triangle ABC and triangle ACD. Those are the two triangles I'm talking about. The theorem says triangles with equal altitudes. This becomes key. Both these triangles must have the same altitude. Triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas, ratio something over something, equal to the ratio of their bases. This theorem is saying area of triangle, let's use this one, ABC, ABC over this area, ACD, area of triangle, ACD, will be equal to, the theorem says, triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. What base for this triangle? It is BC over CD. This is what the theorem is saying. However, you can't use this theorem if you don't have equal altitudes. Both this one and this one. Let's, let's create this altitude. From there, the highest point here. Yeah. This is H. Let's call it this altitude H. Perpendicular height. Now, this triangle has got this altitude, the highest point, as well as this second triangle, triangle ACD, also has got the same altitude. So the theorem says triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas, and this area over this area, equal to the ratio of their bases, this base over this base. This is what the theorem is saying. You don't have to mix them. If I'm starting with this area, I will start with this base. This area over this area is equal to this base over this base. If I'm starting this side, this area over this area is equal to this base over this base. This is what the theorem is saying. Now, let's prove whether this is true or not. Triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. Let's get on with it. Area of triangle ABC. A, B. We're taking the left-hand side. We're taking the left-hand side. We want to prove that it is equal to the right-hand side. What is the left-hand side saying? Area of triangle ABC over area of triangle ACD. We've got this scenario on the left-hand side. Let's work it out. Do we know the, f the, the area uh, for the triangle? Area of a triangle, it says half base times perpendicular height. Yes, we do have our perpendicular height for both triangles. So we'll be using the same altitude because both these triangles have the same altitude. Triangles with equal altitudes. For this to work, both triangles must have the same altitude. Now let's work it out. This then is equals to what is the area of triangle ABC? ABC, it is equals to half base. What is the base in this case? It is BC. Half base times perpendicular height times h in this case. This is the altitude. That's how you calculate the area of a triangle if you've got a perpendicular height. If you don't have a perpendicular height, you go and use area rule from your, tri from your trigonometry. This is divided by area of triangle ACD. ACD. What is, the, what is the area of a triangle? It's half base times perpendicular height. So this will be half base. What is the base in this case? It is CD times, what is the perpendicular height? Of course it is H. 
Now let's take this thing further. This then becomes, you can see that half divides once here and h divides once there. What are we left with? We're left with bc over ct, exactly equal to that. So it is true that triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equals to the ratio of their bases. This area over that area is equal to this space over this space. It is important, uh, young learners, we don't have to, to stress, even if we put it in any way, the facts should not change. If I have a triangle, two triangles like this one, I can create the altitude here. The fact remain will be this area over that area will be equal to this space over this space, no matter how it looks like. If you tilt it this way, it will be the same thing. If you tilt it that way, even if you tilt it back, downwards, it will be the same. The fact that this area over this area is equal to that space over this space. You must be able to, to recognize the theorem because it will assist you when you go to prove the proportionality theorem. Theorems, they get on top of each other. You cannot do this one if you don't understand that one. You cannot do this one if you don't understand this one. Hence, I'm starting on this theorem which says triangles with equal altitudes have the ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their bases. Thank you.